guys, it's LucaBase here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you how to Photoshop in Paint.net. Basically, this is just how to how to do the graphics the way I do. I didn't do this, but yeah, this will make you be able to do mostly everything in Photoshop that you or in uh, Paint.net that you've ever wanted to do in Photoshop. I'm just scrolling through all the plugins I have here, um, uh, just showing you what this will do for you oh crap what this will do for you and how insanely good this is um you have everything here it's just a ton and do not yeah okay paint.net doesn't like me right now but you can do all kinds of stuff you can just like smudge all over the place if had something on there right around here yeah and then you can like do all kinds of things you can Radial Blur, Splinter, this is a sick looking plugin, um, I use, uh, these to do my graphics, uh, if you've seen, uh, this, yeah, uh, it's pretty hard to get accustomed to, I did this earlier, um, which was for, uh, action plays, um, which, to be honest, it looks okay, but um, first off, you want to go to this website, um, really, really good website, and you want to download this installer. And since I already have all these plugins, it wouldn't really matter. There's over 601 effects, and this is version like this one. Um, it's a lot. It's just a ton. Hey, Vast. Thank you. That helps. You can get this one, it's, you know, exceptional. Uh, this is pretty good, but you can always get better. I probably need to get this one. Um, but, yeah, you have all these stuff. You have, like, all this, and it shows you everything here. Um, uh, well, that exists. Yeah, basically, you go to this website here, and you can basically get, like, everything here, and it's really, really good. But I suggest this, like, it takes a lot of things to do, though. It takes a bit. Um, but once you have that, you can just do everything you want with PDN. Uh, but you're gonna have to have it closed. What happened that? You're gonna have, have to have it closed to do anything. Uh... You have to install these first off because you know but it gives you a ton of stuff and I would just head and download everything on that website if I were you um it's really good um I can just make a really really, really sample really really quick sample graphic um just get something like this that way and then let's go to effects. And we'll go to blur. And we'll do a radial blur. Um. One second. I, I want to do. Uh, where I I'm pretty sure I had an extreme radial blur. It's right here. Um. <clears throat> you have all kinds of stuff. You have like gradient blur. You got your focal point. You got your smart blur but I want I want to do this so let's make every this makes everything look really realistic and we're gonna accept that and um it just makes everything look a bit more blurry and then I want to go to this and make it look more weird I don't know what I want to do uh, there's a motorcycle, let's see. And then I want to do a diagonal lines because that's fun. Tons of them. And then, like this. And more like shuttery. And then we're gonna. And then we're gonna. Why? And then we're gonna change our font to. I have a bunch of fonts, and these don't come with them. You just install a bunch of fonts if you want. It's really simple just to do. You just have to download them. And then we're going to do Rick plays whatever. 
which is probably a channel somewhere that I have just made something for. And then we're gonna go effects, uh, object align, center both, effects. Wait, I just realized that I didn't create a new layer. Oh crap, one second. Let me do this again. Um. So, Rick plays, plays all. Let's do Rick plays all. And then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do object align center both. This is basically a day in the life of liquid base. Cause I do this like every day. We're gonna do drop shadow and we're gonna do black and then we're gonna have that's really good and then we're gonna then we're gonna go back into this one and we're gonna do effect we're render a photo lomography did lomography break I like that one I think Lomography broke, but we'll use something else, then we'll go flames. Not the one, the other one, fire. Yeah. Um, effects, we'll do, um, fire. Yeah, not that one either. But there's one that looks really, really sick. Um, and then we'll do, uh, Okay, that one looks really good. Blending. Oh crap. Turn back on. I'm just trying to find which one I like. Wait, I think it's overlay. Then that. So if your web if your name is Rick Plays All, then go ahead and use that. It looks pretty sick in my opinion. But yeah, that's how to Photoshop in Paint.net. And if you want a bit more variety to your text up here, then what you want to do is you want to go to the this, and you're just gonna go. Wait, no, you're gonna go like this, and you're just gonna go. So you want a better gray underneath your text. You do this with normal paint on it if you want it. You want a big gray on your text. Not that much gray. Um, this. So you want a bit of that. Just a bit of that. Only a little bit. Because too much is just way insane. And then you just unselect it and you have something. Good, except I don't like that. If I move it down a bit, maybe it'll be better. Yeah, but this is really, really simple. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this Rick Plays All when it's not really a channel or anything. I just want to make something look cool. Okay, go away. Um, um, and if you want to update your paint.net, a few of plugins might glitch out in an update, but most of them will stay normal, uh, because I updated and, um, it's pretty good, and, um, yeah, that concludes our, whatever this was, how to paint.net and jpeg, hey, how to, um, photoshop and paint.net. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, ta-ra, or goodbye. Sorry, that's nerd outro.